everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and Kept It Off for 30 Plus Years, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and your weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about why crash dieting doesn't work for long-term weight loss and weight maintenance. Now before we begin, if you need help from the weight loss perspective, if you need a, a counseling kind of coach along the way, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also, you'll see links to my website that has a lot of recipes and articles, my podcast, and if you appreciate my content, there is a link for PayPal. All right, so I don't think it's really revelatory to say that crash dieting doesn't work, but so many people do it. So I thought it's really important to do one of the early episodes on crash dieting and what, why it doesn't work and what does work when it comes to long weight loss maintenance. Now. Why do we crash diet? Well, we got to back it up. We are the fattest we've ever been in human history. It's unquestionably, if somebody came from some other century, like 1830 America, like to, to Tocqueville's America, and came to 2022 America, that's one of the things they would notice. That's probably number two after the technological differences. It's just how shockingly overweight we are. My family's from Mexico, as I mentioned in that, that personal video about me, and they used to come in the 90s to visit like my aunts and uncles, and they're, they're like uh, Spanish Mexicans, kind of the richy Mexicans from Europe. And that's one of the things that they're like, why are all the people so overweight? So it's like one of the things is like, we're so used to it that we don't see it, but America, and certainly the West, has an obesity problem, and we've talked about it in past episodes. So. That's why people are crash dieting is because we're fat. Clearly, if we weren't fat, we wouldn't be crash dieting, right? Problem, action, solution, like the old Masonic kind of sl slogan. And if there wasn't a problem, there wouldn't need to be a solution. So we have an obesity problem, no doubt. And we live in the world of instant gratification, pop a bill, quick fix. And it's, this is best exemplified by the nine minute doctor visit on average in America. That's how long you see a doctor. I mean, they already know how they're gonna treat you before you, you even walk in. It's gonna be drugs, 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 drugs. And we talk about that at the podcast, The Awakened Man, all the time. So since we have this kind of paradigm of instant gratification, because everything else is instant gratification, right? Pop in the microwave, go through the drive-thru, like the, like the Instagram post, you know, everything is quick, instant gratification. It's not surprising that we would expect diet to be no different. We want the quick fix. So. If you look at these two things, they kind of cause this centripetal movement and motion toward crash dieting. Not to mention a third element is that there's going to be people out there that will push crash diets. I mean, you've seen some crazy crash diets in the past, the cayenne diet, the cookie diet, and then more of the more kind of refined ones like the Whole30 and all these other ones. But ultimately, they're all crash diets. And why are they crash diets? Because you can't maintain these your whole life. And they know that. So you see these people that provide these services, knowing full well that you might lose the weight for a little while, but you're not gonna keep it off, and then you come back. We have an episode at the Awakened Man about Weight Watchers. It's probably around episode 180. It's a classic, because Weight Watchers, which is now WW, leaked a memo, and, and, they're, and they have the perfect business model. When people wanna lose weight, they go to Weight Watchers. And then they thank Weight Watchers for losing the weight. But when they get it back, they don't blame Weight Watchers, they blame themselves. And so later on, they'll go back to Weight Watchers, try it again. It's a perfect business model, you're never to blame. So the crash diets, people do them because they're 10, 15 pounds overweight. A lot of women, of course, are notorious for crash diet. Even men will do it too, but women do it more. I need to get in my bathing suit figure and by the summer, so I'm gonna do this crash diet, or I have a wedding, or I have this event, or I just wanna look better to get my ex-boyfriend jealous, you know, whatever it is, they'll crash diet, and many times it's unhealthy. I mean, the obvious quickest crash diet that's the least healthy is gonna be bulimia, diuretic pills, laxative pills, and of course, we don't recommend that, and I've never done those things. So why doesn't crash dieting work? Well, the obvious thing is that crash, crash dieting goes back to the, the first video we did here. And what's the number one thing you must do to lose weight and keep it off? It's change your paradigm. And with crash dieting, you're not changing your paradigm. See, with crash dieting, most people have the forbearance and the kind of temperance to not drink alcohol or maybe sodas or they can lay off the junk food or the processed food or you know whatever, if it's flour. Get a, like, it's a lot of these, these kind of crash 
uh, cleanses are going to be get off gluten and get off dairy. And look, I agree with that. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of issues with both of those things. But they'll tell you to do this almost like an elimination diet where you're just pretty much eating beans and there's problems with legumes too. So you're probably just eating vegetables that aren't sprayed with pesticides, you know, whatever, whatever the diet is. So the problem with these crash diets is that they're not sustainable. They're not. And so people will, have, will be able to do it for like 10 days, maybe five months. And the reason they'll, they'll do it is because they'll feel better because they're getting away from whatever vices they were on. And also they're losing weight, so they're getting that momentum. But ultimately it's not sustainable. And I've always encouraged, and if you look at the recipes I have at Naturopathic Earth, it's kind of like a modified paleo uh, diet. Because I don't think anybody can argue that we should stay away from middle aisle foods, all the processed crap, the pop tarts, the chips, the cereals and all these things. So we should do like, if God didn't make it, don't eat it, right? So kind of a paleo diet, modified though. <laughs> but I don't, I don't exhort or recommend never eating bread the rest of your life because it's unrealistic and you'll not stick to it. And plus bread tastes good. How can you go to an Indian restaurant and not eat naan? So the crash diets don't work because honestly, a lot of people crash diet, they have a blind spot. Like they'll realize, yeah, I should stop eating fried chicken. But a lot of them drink alcohol. And a lot of them drink sodas. But let's, let's look at alcohol. Alcohol, as we mentioned in a previous episode, brings in tons of calories. And one of the reasons the crash diet doesn't work is even if they do stop drinking alcohol for that two week period or one month period or whatever it is, they'll go back to it because they're alcohol dependent. And so many Americans are alcohol dependent. So what's the key to weight loss maintenance? Avoiding crash diets. Because crash diets might get you short term what you want, which is a loss of weight. But you know, so does bulimia. And we're not gonna recommend bulimia, nervosa. But you, 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 if you do eat cleaner, that's great. We recommend it. But if you look at the crash diet, whatever it is, and there's so many different ones, most of them are not sustainable because most of us can't go without dairy or or some flour based stuff. Look, if you have celiacs, you have to, because I mean, you, you feel the pain when you do eat flour. And there are a lot of gluten sensitive people out there. There's more people who say they're gluten sensitive that never get the test and are doing elimination diet. Sorry about that, my daughter interrupted me. So there's more people who think they're gluten sensitive that really are, but they don't get tested. But look, here's the thing. If you wanna have long-term weight loss, weight maintenance, the way to do it is not crash diet every year. I'm gonna do this crash diet every summer or whatever, because I'm 50 pounds overweight, I'll crash diet for two weeks, lose 10 pounds, and then you can't sustain it, then you start eating again. This is why people yo-yo diet so much. Then they go back to it and a year later, oh, I've gained too much weight, I'm gonna crash diet. No, change the paradigm. What does that paradigm change mean? No alcohol, because alcohol is empty calories, not to mention it's a class one carcinogen and it hurts, you. it's pernicious to your entire body. Don't drink your calories. We've talked about that before. Don't drink sodas or empty calories. Juices mostly are empty calories. Conventional juices, empty calories. Don't drink it. And you just have to change your diet. Change your diet. Put in an exercise regime. Put in a good sleep regime. Lower your stress. And that way you won't have to crash diet because these fundamental long-term changes will result in you not gaining weight or gaining as much weight. And they're more sustainable. A cookie diet is not sustainable. Uh, a two week juice fast, albeit I'm, I'm a proponent of juicing, like a juice fast to, to clean out your intestines, rest your intestines for three days or so, but a two week juice fast, no. So, because these things are not sustainable. We have to be realistic with ourselves. And realism is, I like bread. Now, if some of you are like, well, realism is I need alcohol, well, then you're alcohol dependent. And, by the government, alcohol dependence for women is drinking 10 glasses of something or a week or more, and for men it's 14. So look at yourself. If you're drinking more than that amount, you're alcohol dependent. Right? You're an alcoholic, but you're dependent on alcohol. So I would tell you, wean off the alcohol. But in closing, crash diets might work short term, but as any of you have done them, no, long term they don't work because they're just not viable and they're not sustainable. And for you, to lose weight and maintain it for years, you gotta change the paradigm. And crash dieting should be eliminated. Guys, post in the comments, let me know if you crash diet, I'd love to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe and share button. 
Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.